Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. And really hear the rain pouring <laughs> yes. down on top of our studio right now. It started a little earlier than what we would have liked, but man, mm -hmm. it's really not letting up at all. It is not. Next few hours are going to be pretty soggy, so kind of plan accordingly. Again, waiting for someone to get home from work. Probably it'll take them a little bit longer. If you're headed out for dinner plans here in the next few hours, take the rain gear with you. <laughs> Let's talk about those rain chances and how they're going to break down on into tonight. And they are going to stay quite elevated for the next several hours. But as we hit, uh, we'll say mid-evening, maybe a little all out. There it could be another uptick in shower coverage uh, late evening, but the general trend is that rain is going to begin to work its way out of here later tonight and as we take you through the day tomorrow. So things will improve in time for the weekend. It's not only wet, it's windy. Wind advisory issued here uh, within the last hour by the Weather Service uh, in Huntsville. We're expecting some gusts that could be 35, 40 miles per hour. So the trash can may end up moved from where it normally sits. Uh, hopefully no problems with any uh, downed trees or power lines, but uh, we'll be watching out for that. Uh, that wind advisory goes until midnight tonight. It does appear after that the breeze will start to die down just a little bit, although it will stay a bit breezy through the day tomorrow as well. Here's what we're looking at right now on Way 31 Triple Doppler. Again, widespread rain across the area. It is steadiest across Sand Lookout Mountain here in northeast Alabama. Back into Coleman County. You hit Huntsville and back to the west, and it does break up just a little bit. Uh, but as we take a look at future radar, we're unlikely to see rain completely clear out of here, at least for the next several hours. Stays pretty steady, pretty soggy through 7 o'clock this evening. And then as we hit the mid to late evening hours, it does start to break a bit. And that will be a trend which will continue into tomorrow morning. Now, you do see another little flare up here around or shortly after midnight. Some additional showers will come through. But by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., rain's really starting to wind down across the area. Still some showers showing from Fort Payne to Scottsboro to Fayetteville, but that will likely be the tail end of much of the wet weather tomorrow. A couple more spots of showers through mid to late morning on Saturday, but as we head into the afternoon hours, I'm expecting a drying trend. Latest cold front will be moving through tomorrow, so that will bring an end to the rain activity, but it is going to usher in some cooler temperatures for us over the course of the weekend. Your lows tonight, they'll find their way back into the upper 50s with, again, the wet conditions continuing, especially this evening, but still some showers waking up tomorrow morning and then your temperature forecast through the day tomorrow is a gradual downward one will actually be warmer around 8 to 9 a.m. Then we'll be around three or four in the afternoon, at which point we're expecting to be back mostly into the mid 50s at that point in time. But again, at least we dry out. Checking things out here on your way 31 storm tracker 10 day forecast. Forgot to change the icon there. We do spring forward this weekend. That will happen Saturday night into Sunday, not Sunday night into Monday. You know how that goes. So don't forget to set your clocks ahead by one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. 61 on Saturday again. That'll be in the morning. Also, the rain for the most part will be in the morning hours chances around 30 percent Sunday a nicer day sunnier skies on the way and will be dry but a little cooler 58 degrees for that high Sunday night into Monday we're still watching that time frame for perhaps a little frost maybe a light freeze for some of you so if you've done some spring planning I don't know why you would have done it yet it's still early March <laughs> a little too early uh, but if you have just keep that in mind for the beginning of next week otherwise temperatures bounce back pretty quickly 70s will make a return by midweek Rain chances back again towards the end of next week. Yeah, hold off as long as you can on that planting. Yeah. The, the boys and I and my husband planted last no, week. No, you did not. Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay. We'll get you uh, some blankets.